And then the rains came. Heavy downfalls in Butte County over the past days have helped firefighters put out the deadliest and most destructive fire in California's history. But not before it had killed scores of people, many of whom have still to be identified. First reported on November 8th at Pulga near Camp Creek Road, Camp Fire spread more than 600,000 square kilometers over the next two weeks, an area five times the size of San Francisco. Many survivors remain in temporary shelters, in warehouses or tents, after the blaze destroyed nearly 14,000 homes and left the town of Paradise totally devastated. Evacuation orders have begun to be lifted, but Paradise isn't out of the woods yet. The biggest concern, especially up in Paradise, is that um, a storm is going to bring down trees anyway. So now after the fire has gone through, the trees are even more weakened. With the vegetation burned away, there's also an increased risk of flash floods, which could hamper the search for remains, with more than 200 people still unaccounted for. On a visit to California last weekend, U.S. President Donald Trump caused consternation by blaming the increase in wildfires this year, in part on forestry mismanagement. But California's governor, Jerry Brown, says it's down to climate change and has allocated about $1 billion over the next five years for fire prevention.